Katarina Bandel is not the babysitter, guys, but she gets the job done here. One step closer, listen, guys, to winning a championship, another lower level championship. She's got six of them already, ladies and gentlemen. The first set went to a tie break. She takes it. And the second set, she played how she should have played probably in the first set. Double break. She wins at 6-2. What's up with Katarina Bandel? Well, she's down to 83 in the world's ranking, having a losing season, 15 and 16. But don't forget, guys, she's a solid player, uh, very experienced, coming off of a 37-win season. In case you're not familiar with Chong, Chong, as she's she dropped in the ranking, guys. She's 312 on tour, 14 and 22 on the year. She's having a losing season, but she does have three lower level championships, right? She's a baller. She can get the job done, but she loses this match here in straight sets to Katarina Bandel. What about Emiliana Arango taking on Oz? And boy, do we have a fight here. This is a fight, guys. In case you're not familiar with Arango, she's a baller. She's having a 40 win season, 41 to be exact. But most of those aren't on clay. She's a clay specialist, guys. She's made at least six quarterfinals on the year, ranked 169. It was just heartbreaking to see her lose the Columbia Clay Championship in front of her hometown crowd against Cross. But, hey, I guess it happens. Taking on Oz, who's probably the veteran, right? 28-win season, coming off of a 36- and 46-win season, respectively. But she has dropped down in the rankings, guys. She hasn't played well lately. Literally ranked 200 and, I don't know, 18th, something like that. But this is a fight, guys. Oz takes the first set. Arango bounces back, takes the second set. We're now in the third set on serve. Get your popcorn, guys. One of these ladies will have to leave New York immediately. And I don't think either one wants to go.